remember as a young boy uh, finding my mother's nylons in the bathroom. And, and I love that view. So I guess that's where it started. And as I grew older, I collected more women's clothes and decided I liked wearing uh, It's not easy to admit that publicly. I think for some people it would be easier to admit I'm a gay man rather than I'm a cross-dresser. Uh, it doesn't go over well with the family. Uh, we don't get along. Uh, it, it's just generational, I would suggest. Uh, my experience has been that what I enjoy doing tends to go over better with younger people rather than older people. And I think it's just how society is changing. And I think it's good work done by organizations like this that helps to change our society. So thank you all for coming here and thanks Spectra for putting this on today. Over the years I collected wardrobes, collected uh, hair. Uh, maybe that's why I like it. I get my hair back. And purged it many times. Um, if I were to leave you with one impression of a cross-dresser, it's we're pretty sneaky. We can hide things. Uh, I've had wardrobes over the years, huge, hidden away, and uh, not discovered until I allowed it to be discovered. Uh, society tends to push them into the shadows, whether it's actual societal pressure or the pressure that we feel about society. Um, so I would just offer you that as uh, maybe something to consider when you think about cross-dressers or encounter one. Um, the difference, for example, between a cross-dresser and someone who's trying to transition and change, uh, change their identity um, would be how they pass. And the cross-dressers don't like that. They, they don't like being out. It's, it's kind of a point of pride with them if they can pull off the look. So again, that goes back to that societal pressure that I, that I referred to. Um, being a cross-dresser is it's the gender expression part of it. Uh, most of the cross-dressers I've encountered uh, are heterosexual males. I've belonged to a group in Rochester since 1982, and it's been my experience that most of the members of that group are heterosexual. And uh, determinedly so, let me put it that way. <laughs> um, and, and it does get back to society with how their spouses and their families handle that. At some of our group meetings, you'll see the wives right there along with the men. And it's just like with all of you in your relationships. Some go better than others. Um, I think that as I, as I self-edit here, uh, I want to just thank you for spending part of our national holiday with me. Halloween is the high point of the year. 